Wait, no paint. Written and illustrated by Bruce Watley. Ebook by Say Hong. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They lived together in an old house on top of a tall hill, along with seventy-three other little pigs. Which is why they decided to leave home and build their own little houses. The first little pig built his house out of straw. The second little pig built his house out of sticks. The third little pig built his house out of bricks. Bricks could keep the wind, the rain, and the big bad wolf. The first little pig just finished building his house when he heard a splash. Oops! Said a voice from nowhere in particular. I spilled my juice. Yuck! Said the first little pig. Now his new straw house is soggy and sticky. Squish, squish, squash! Came a wet knocking on the door. It was the big bad wolf. Let me in! Let me in! He growled. No, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin! Squealed the pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in! Said the wolf. But before the wolf could do anything, the house collapsed with a wet plop, and the little pig took off fast as his little piggy legs could carry him. The second little pig just finished building his house. When the first little pig came running up, there is a wolf after me! He gasped. Did he huff and puff and blow your house in? Asked the second little pig. He didn't have time. Someone spilled juice on my house and it fell down all by itself. Said the first little pig. Well, it looks like he's coming to finish the job here. Said the second little pig. The wolf was almost at the house. They slammed the door just in time. Ow! Howled the wolf. The door slammed right into his face, but he was still hungry. Yet me in, yet me in! He began clutching his nose. Or I'll yuff and I'll yuff and wait! I've got to redo the nose. Interrupted a voice from nowhere in particular. While the wolf was getting his nose fixed, the two little pigs ran out of the back door. The third little pig was enjoying a good book and a glass of pink lemonade when the two little pigs burst into his front door. They told him about the spilled juice, the wolf with the hurt nose, and the mysterious voice. The third little pig jumped up and bolted the door. I know who the voice is, he said, turning white as a ghost. It's the illustrator. Yes, it's me. I'm the one who is painting the story," said the voice, who was indeed the illustrator. And I'm sorry to tell you, but I just ran out of red paint. Without it, I can't make you pink. That's why you've all turned pale. The first pig felt so faint that he had to sit down. The third little pig was not happy. This is embarrassing," he said. "We have to be some sort of color." Suddenly, the three little pigs felt queasy. Like they were riding a boat on the stormy seas, they looked at each other and gasped. They were green, green all over. Green? You made us green! cried the third little pig. You don't like it? said the illustrator. The three little pigs shook their green heads. Well, I'll try to think of something else, but be careful. The illustrator continued. The wolf is coming. The wolf was, in fact, right at the door. Let me in! Let me in! He howled. All his running around was making him hungry. He didn't care about what color the pigs were as long as he could gobble them up. No, not by the green hair of our green chinny chin chin! Said the pigs. Well, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll. How's this? Interrupted the illustrator. The wolf peeked through the window and howled with laughter. The illustrator had made the third little pig patterns. This is not funny," said the third little pig to the illustrator. "Now I'm blending into the furniture." You see," he said when the first little pig sat on him. "I'm starting to feel like a real clown." Suddenly, the third little pig looked like a clown. 
Uh oh, said the first little pig. I think the illustrator misunderstood you. The second little pig explained to the illustrator that the third little pig had said that he felt like a clown, not that he wanted to look like one. Oops, said the illustrator, and he made the third little pig pale again. On the other side of the door, the wolf was still hungry, so he huffed and puffed some more, but he just couldn't blow the house in. So he decided to climb down the chimney instead. The three little pigs heard the wolf on the roof. Quick, let's build a fire, said the third little pig. That'll keep him out. They put more and more wood on the fire so it could get red hot and... Wait, no paint, said the second little pig. No red paint. No red paint meant no fire. No fire meant the wolf could come down the chimney to gobble them up. Look, shouted the third little pig to the illustrator. Because you ran out of red paint, the wolf is about to eat us up. Do something quick! We don't want to be in this story anymore! Once upon a time, there were three bears. A mama bear, a papa bear, and a little baby bear. Thank you for listening to my ebook. I hope you enjoyed it!